Thank you. New tonight, a 21-year-old man is facing murder charges in Anderson, accused of stabbing and killing his own brother. Fox 59, Scarlett O'Hara walks us through the court documents and the reason he says he did it. So warning to you here before we air this, some of the details you're about to hear are graphic. Late last Tuesday night, Anderson police officers were called to this house behind me for a man dying from a stab wound. Court documents say the only other person home at the time was the suspect, his own brother who's now facing charges for his murder. 21-year-old Caleb Ingram reportedly greeted officers at the front door, covered in blood that wasn't his, while his older brother William laid upstairs, the side of his neck slashed. One of our investigators was listening to the 911 call and couldn't even listen to it. I mean, it's heartbreaking. It really is heartbreaking. According to court documents, Caleb said he got mad at William over $10 he spent. And while sitting alone in the back of a patrol car, cameras captured him talking to himself, saying, please let him live. Oh my God, I don't want to experience this. I'm so sorry, William. I love you so much. I will never pick up another knife. Emotional statements that the Madison County prosecutor says will be considered as the investigation moves forward. Clearly there was some animosity over the money that was in dispute, but it, it seems pretty, pretty clear the young man is pretty sad that this happened and remorseful that it happened. Neighbors described 23-year-old William as a sweet kid who loved playing basketball, always willing to lend a helping hand around the neighborhood. Documents say the mother told police Caleb has two diagnosed developmental disabilities and William would help take care of him. There's two young men that lost their lives in different ways, a family that's ripped apart, a community that's uh, destroyed. Jason Fullington with the Madison County Hand Up Initiative advocates for peace in Anderson and says this tragedy highlights the permanent consequences of violent crime, intentional or otherwise. I would just like to uh, let the family know that our thoughts and prayers are with them and uh, we pray that violence like this in, in our city stops. Investigators say when Caleb was told his brother had died, his legs went limp, he fell to the floor and began breathing heavily. Then he was arrested and taken to jail. In Anderson, Scarlett O'Hara, Fox 59 News.